The 7 Creepiest Places Around Cincinnati Think it's haunted? While getting inside can be a hassle, and the chances of ever getting in seem slimmer and slimmer by the year, people still claim that there are ways to get in under the radar. With close to 2 miles of track lane, it wouldn't be surprising if that's the case. People have reported everything from strange, foggy apparitions to lights flickering on and off without much reason. It's probably just one of those ghosts, tormenting the lights, because the true heights of this monument were never reached. Whatever the case may be, there have been more than one person to report that they feel there's something supernatural about the place. We still want to get in there, regardless of the risk. The Chambers Roadhouse A short drive south to Walton, Kentucky will lead you to one of the most haunted places in the entire area. Oh, and the story behind it will probably leave you ting your pants before you even dare to venture down. While there are plenty of stories that we've heard about the place, the creepiest definitely involves a man murdering his entire family before taking his own life. They say that if you go out there late at night you can hear some bizarre noises. Some report hearing gunshots, others say that they can hear children screaming. We'd rather not hear either of the two out in the middle of the country at an abandoned house. We don't know about you, but we'll probably just take this ghost tale at face value. 3. The Ludlow Incinerators Oh, would an abandoned place where they may have accidentally burned bodies be haunted? Surprise, surprise. We use the term haunted loosely, because it's not the fact that you'll see a ghostly apparition here or anything like that, but you definitely feel it. Just taking a look into the lower rooms sends chills up your spine even on the hottest of days. It's not a spectacle to see, but you feel that something's not quite right as you walk around in the room. Some have expressed feelings of becoming immediately depressed for no reasons, while others have said that it feels like someone just threw ice water all over them. We can confirm that this place will definitely give you chills. The short trip to Ludlow, Kentucky will be worth it to all paranormal junkies. 4. Lick Road Help me. This is all a lot of people hear from an apparent ghost that haunts Cincinnati's Lick Road late at night. Some have claimed to hear a woman screaming, while even more say that they've heard nothing more than a woman crying for help. The craziest stories, though, revolve around the story that windows have been fogged up and the words have been printed in the windows. What makes this super creepy is the fact that they say you have to turn your car completely off in the middle of the night to make her come out. Anyone down for sitting in the middle of a creepy, abandoned, pitch black road in the middle of the night? No? Yeah, we didn't think so. Apparently this is a ghost, so she doesn't really need the help anyway. Five. Buffalo Ridge How many creepy stories can be told about the same general area? Plenty if it's already a hotbed for paranormal activity. There are legends from this place that speak of everything from hellhounds that will run towards your car to a decapitated bride that wanders the roads, still searching for her head. There's even a rumor that a crematorium that once stood there exploded. The weirdest thing is that there are rumors that the crematorium actually threw the bodies in the woods instead of burning them. Hence why the angered spirits still roam there at night. It's even said that cults will go out there to perform rituals. All of it seemed a bit crazy to us. After a trip out there, we can confirm that it's one of the more bizarre experiences you'll ever experience. Every single movement had us spooked, and there were definitely some strange, smoky apparitions that our eyes could detect in the moonlight. Needless to say, we won't be coming back down there anytime soon. It's worth the trip, though. You just never know what you're going to see. 6. Miami Cemetery There certainly aren't many cemeteries that stay open after dark, but Miami Cemetery is one of those rare exceptions to that fact. While one side closes at night, the other is open well into the wee hours of the morning. This is the time at which many have claimed to have seen the ghost of a little girl running around from headstone to headstone. Where she came from or why she haunts this cemetery is as good a guess to yours as it is ours. Too many people have seen her to ignore it, though. If you've never been to a graveyard at night, it's definitely an experience. The silence late in the night is haunting in itself, 
because it kind of sets you up to start imagining things. We never saw anything straight on, but we kept thinking we were seeing white blurs in the corner of our eyes. Sleep deprivation is one thing, but it's another thing to feel cold chills on a warm summer night over and over again. 7. The Twin Tunnels Down in Rilland Heights, Kentucky there are two train tunnels that are supposed to be haunted by a male spirit. A common theme among people is that they like to venture down the tunnel at night. Some try to see how far they can get in there without getting scared and turning back. Let's get something straight here, trains still come down these tunnels, and they can come fast. So, venture in at your own risk. Upon arriving there, the first thing that comes to mind is how desolate it can seem around the tunnels. It's pretty lonely out there, which makes even weirder if you're thinking about venturing out by yourself or with a small group. Once we went into the tunnels, all of the sounds around us seemed to be that much louder. Maybe it was a rat, maybe it was a ghost.